Okay, we're going in. We're going into the, the main building of the Fire Realm. And there's an evil monk. But guess what, guys? I'm going to cast a spell. Paralysis. Beetle pincer. We've got 11 of them. We've got plenty of beetle pincers. So, the monk can't move. And guess what? I can use the hammer. I can kill them without having to fight them. Same with this guy. Yeah. The trick to surviving in the fire realm is to use your magic. And unless you've actually been good enough to collect all the, um, you know, uh, panda hair, beetle pincers, whatever, from the earlier levels, you won't be able to use your magic. But we've been smart. We've, we've collected all the stuff. Um, so we've got plenty of, uh, um, uh, you know, artifacts to experiment with. So, yeah, chances are we can survive pretty well. And what? Okay, so I'm looking at this uh, um, sort of pit. Looks like a void in there, but if you jump inside, it teleports you. Guess what? It took me straight back to the start of the level. So that kind of sucked. Let's use another spell. Um, let's try, uh, let's use the, uh, weir spell, the one that turned us into a condor. Can we turn into a condor in the fire realm? No, it turned us into a skull, turned us into an apparition. So... That's all right. The effect is the same. We can still fly around. Now you can see I've got double mine point drain. I'm losing two mine points a second. So if that hits zero, my spells are going to switch off. Um, what I'll do is... No, I can't. I was going to use a mine elixir, but and then I realized that when you're... Uh, you've turned yourself into an apparition, you can't actually use... Um, the mine elixir. So this leaves me forced to fight this guy. With his 177 hit points. That's right. I can skip it. We're leveling up, guys. I killed him. The Order of the Viper. Sibilant whisper. Scales rustle through blades of grass. Venom sears the ground. Mm. Yeah, so... Now what's happening? Someone's hit me with a fireball. There's monks everywhere. They're shooting fireballs. Let's go in here. Some people inside. Beware the bite of the skull. Yes, we've experienced the bite of the skull. Priest of darkness, no, no mercy. Okay. So we get some water. And... You know, something about the Fire Realm, you gotta know, is that... There's no cisterns. There's only those little water holes. An innocent has been wounded. Okay, this guy threw a fireball at the... Alright. Another fight, another battle. I'll take him on. Yeah, he dies eventually. Okay. So, yeah, in the Fire Realm, there's no cisterns, and... Why is this guy following me? Go away. There's no system, so if you have no water, you have to, um... You can go to one of the little water holes that are around the place. Here's another pit. That's, um, yeah, it's, it could teleport me somewhere else, but, uh... We're not gonna mess with that. The last one sent us right back to the beginning, so... They're a bit hit and miss. Some of them work, some of them don't work. And this seems to be the doors to the shrines. So let's go in. Alright, here's the shrine. 
and we'll try killing a, a dude with fire. Mm, he's caught a sp yeah. Okay. Come on, come on. Hit him. He died straight away. Good. That's one shrine. Um, now this shrine's got two monks. Now, I've, yeah, that. What's happening is they're casting inhibition on me. That means I can't move. And yeah. Ah. I stepped outside the shrine and I stepped into fire. But I stepped right back in. Okay, he's dead now. So this shrine is clear as well. We've cleared out the two shrines. And now I guess what we need to do is swim out to the bottom to the uh, southeast little island where the monks are trapped and bring them back to the center building. But it's going to be risky with all these evil monks running around. So let's do something that's going to help us. We will use paralysis and yeah that's all we need for the moment, paralysis. And hey we've got, you know, we can use the hammer trick. Um, we were smart enough to uh, get here with all the st with all the magical items, so why not just use it to our advantage and use paralysis? We can kill all the monks with the hammer. And in that way reduce the enemy population and when we get the good monks they'll be a lot safer. Because you know if a uh, an evil monk hits a good monk with a fireball, the good monk's gonna die. We don't want to mess around with that. It would be possible if you got to the fire realm and you had no magic. I'm sure it would be possible to still win the game, you just have to... Um, you need a lot more patience. You have to fight all the monks. Instead of hitting them with a hammer. And the other thing is you'd have to be really uh, careful with your um, uh, food reserves because in the fire realm, um, food is a lot more scarce. So if you want food, you pretty much have to... Um, cut down the corpses. As you can see there's plenty of corpses. But every time you cut down a corpse you... Um, it affects karma so... surviving without magic and elixirs becomes very tricky. It's alright for us because we've got the magic and we don't have to worry about it too much. So, where are we at the moment? We've sort of been um, moving into the center of the of the building, and it looks like there's a weird sort of path. So let's just have a look around here. What have we come into? Uh, it's the Overlord, and paralysis, paralysis doesn't affect him. He's not affected by magic two hundred eighty hit points and one hit kills I'm gonna end the episode here